Okay, so following on from historical cost, we have this thing called Current Purchasing Power Accounting, or CPPA. Um, and what this means is that we don't discard historical costs altogether. Rather, current purchasing power simply restates the historical cost of an asset in terms of the current state of changes in price. So usually a, a well-known index of price movements is used. And here in Australia, we would, we would probably use the consumer price index, the CPI. And so what we have is a mixture of historical cost and indexation toward using the CPI. Now, interestingly, the price index in this method is only applied to non-monetary assets. Monetary assets, meaning cash or cash equivalent, uh, always show their value in terms of inflation. So $10, a $10 note is still $10, whether it was whether you acquired that $10 note 10 years ago, last year, or this year, it's still $10. The difference is, of course, that $10 can buy much less now than it could 10 years ago. But that won't be affecting our valuation until we um, realize that $10. In other words, we use it, we dispose of it, and receive something in return. Non monetary assets, on the other hand, uh, need to be revalued to reflect changes in prices. So their historical costs are adjust, adjusted up or down uh, depending on the state of the, um, the, the price index. As I said, here in Australia, we would use CPI. So CPPA is considered a relatively simple process. Um, due to its use of historical cost uh, and the use of objective price indices. However, adjusting your hi historical cost values probably still don't reflect the true value of the assets today. So um, researchers have moved on from CPPA and they started looking at uh, more complex measurement techniques. And so following this video, we're going to look at um, current cost accounting. So I hope you enjoy that.